is plenty, I don't believe Plenty of things that mean nothing to me But if there's one thing I know to be Oh, I know what you mean to me I know what you mean to me You've got a story I want to read You've got a meaning that matters to me I know there's many more to be seen But I know what you mean to me I know what you mean to me Sophie, you finally made it <laughs> through the distance and being apart for so long, <sighs> through all the hardships our relationship went through. We've not only survived but grew stronger as partners in life and now here we are. Now we just have to survive living together. <laughs> I cherish all the adventures we've had, and I can't wait to go on this adventure of starting a new life with you. And I'll try not to die while we're at it. Today marks the day when I can finally come home to you every day. I've been waiting for that for a while. Sam, if I went back in time to April 2010, that night Fred Penner was playing at the UBC pit and told 22-year-old Sophie that I'd married the guy who just walked in with my friend, I would be shocked and confused. <laughs> I was not at all interested in you. <laughs> Yet here we are, same place, nearly nine years later. Our nearly decade-long relationship hasn't always been easy. For much of it, we were on different continents, different time zones. For a very long time, it felt like we were living parallel lives, worlds apart. But when our relationship was in a really dark place, you found yourself in a coma, and it was nearly perfectly timed. I remember the day before you woke up. I had been sitting in the corner of the room feeling so distraught and scared that you would never wake up. The nurse came in to roll you out for an MRI and suddenly the room was empty. Your light, your presence, it was all gone. And it was in then and there that I realized I didn't want a life in which you were not in.
Today feels much like that first time I told you I loved you. I remember feeling as if I was bursting at the seams because my love for you was just bubbling out. It was new, it was airy, and it was fresh. But my love for you today is different. It's deeper. Our love has been sanded down and carved out by our experiences, and I'm dedicated to making us the best version of ourselves. I vow to be on your team, to show you kindness and patience when things are rough. I promise to create a love that is strong and to support and embrace your dreams. Like that 20-year-old self who could have never fathomed standing here with you today, I also can't imagine what's to come. I can't wait to look back when we're 40 or 50 or even 80 and think, wow, what a life filled with love we have. When I was given a second chance at this life and woke up, yours were the first pair of beautiful eyes I ever laid eyes on. And I'm thankful for this second chance to love you. I vow to be a dependable and reliable husband. And most of all, I vow to love and cherish you till the day I close my eyes. <laughs> Marriage is like a pendulum. There are swinging rises and falls. And so you need to show that you're able to manage that, Sam. In your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> so you can nominate three groomsmen to tie a wiener around their, their waist while they swing this pendulum. <laughs> And, uh, and you have to catch the wiener in your mouth. Yeah!